Hi guys, happy Dollar Tree haul weekend. And I am sitting here Indian style in my room ready to show you all of the things that I've found in the past week. I did give you an extra haul midweek. So if you haven't seen the video prior to this one, it is a snow day haul. And so if you want to jump backwards and see that before you watch this, be my guest or watch it after this. It's a relatively long haul. Um, I did have it, I think a few minutes over an hour. If you wanted to just start watching it, break it up. However, you are used to watching the haul videos, be my guest. Um, so there was an extra haul from last week that I was able to give to you because we were all snowed in. And now it is Friday, actually. It's not Saturday or Sunday when I normally film. I am doing it on Friday because I worked this whole weekend. It's almost Valentine's Day and the flowers are ordered and they're going out the door like fire at work so i am extremely busy i have some great stuff here but i do want to show you that at walmart they have just put out like all new sweaters in the junior section and um this i got and it is an extra large and i am not a small girl i have lost a considerable amount of weight since 2017 since joining Weight Watchers. Um, but you know what? I'm still a thick girl. So I was surprised that this sweater fit me and I'm so glad that I tried it because I almost talked myself out of it and left. But these Disney sweaters that they just put out with a ton of different characters on these sweaters, different colors. This one is gray and it has the little mermaid on it. And is she not absolutely stunning? I am so excited. But what I'm about to tell you is that these sweaters are $10 and I am a cheap girl. If you don't know that by now, I'm shocked. I do not like spending a lot of money on one item. Um, $10 to me is teetering on the edge of where I normally cap it off if I find something that I like, but $10 for a Disney themed sweater and it's Ariel and they had um oh my god I don't know Yoda baby Yoda and that was like a yellow sweater with the baby Yoda on the front in like a watercolor type of print it was beautiful honestly and I am not a Star Wars girl I've never even watched one of the movies in any way shape or form but that sweatshirt was just as cute this is an extra large in the juniors department and I, I'm shocked it even fits me. I, I'm just so happy that it does. It's cozy. It's comfy. It's actually a little bit roomy and I'm excited that I found it and grabbed it. This is also my Dollar Tree cap that I found um, a little bit before Christmas. They do still have them in my Dollar Trees that are local to me. They had a white one, a navy blue one, I believe a gray one, and a beige one. I have all the colors. Oh, and a black one. And they have these cute little straps in the back that tightens it. These are the just, just regular caps that you'd find at like Walmart or whatever for like 5 or $6. They've been at the Dollar Tree for over a month. And I'm wearing my white hat today with my heart hoops. And I'm just kind of having a chill day. I had to get tires put on this morning. It's been a whole day. So I didn't have to work today because I'm working all weekend. I needed to get a ton of things done. So I wore my cozy little brand new sweater from Walmart for $10 with my beautiful girl Ariel on it. My Dollar Tree hat, some jeans, and some skippies. And I've been comfy all day. So think about going to Walmart. I love Disney. So when I saw all of these themed Disney sweatshirts, I had to go over and check it out because her face was shining on that rack. And I just had to go see what I could do with the sizing to see if it fit me. And it did. So I'm excited. Go check out Walmart if you're looking for Disney themed clothing because they seem to have like a good amount of new stock coming out. In the women's in um, juniors department and I love Walmart clothes so and I love them when they're on clearance too I found two sweaters for a dollar each that were like the big oversized ones and I am like I'm I almost like 
So I spent $12 and I got three sweaters by the time I left Walmart yesterday morning before work. So that's enough of that. Just letting you know, check out Walmart. Okay, here we go. So storage stuff is starting to come out with spring colors and the color scheme that they're going with is um, a pale pink, a like baby blue type of like teal looking color. They also have like a light gray and a soft like peach color. And that seems to be the color scheme that they're going with for their storage. I do have pictures included at the end of the things that we've found in the storage area. I don't particularly need any of those. Sorry. I'm almost choking on my own air. Um, let me slow down a little bit. I'm excited. Um, so anyhow, there's like a ton of new storage items. I don't really need anything new to revamp my, my storage that I already have in place, but the color schemes are really, really pretty. So there are some pictures that are going to be included in the end that will show you kind of the things that I found with in these color blocks right here. And I got two new baskets, but I didn't get these for clothing. I got them for Easter baskets for my mom and my son to put their stuff in. And then Richie, I probably will go back and try to look for a gray one. Um, they, they've been, they're already being picked over. So I might get a light gray for Richie if I can find it in a basket. And the, these will be their Easter baskets to put their stuff together for Easter. And I'll show you as that goes along what I pick up for them to put in here. And then these are really cute for storage afterwards, um, especially up in my craft attic where I can categorize the things that I save and start to really organize some stuff up there, which I started, but I'm still working on it. Now, this also was in that department, and these are just tubs with the handles. There are three of them here, and my mother bought these because she's going to put three of them in her the hallway outside of her bedroom, and she's going to put all of her yarn inside of these tubs because right now it's kind of just accumulating she knits a lot and I buy her a ton of yarn um and it's kind of like taking up like armchairs and stuff like that so she needed something to be able to put her belongings of her yarn and knitting and things like that inside of it so she grabbed three of these so she could organize her yarn into these and they're so pretty but like the baskets over there they had these in this color the pale pink, the pale gray, and like the peach color. And oh my God, them sitting next to each other on the shelf is so, so pretty. Just the colors all accumulated together is just, it's really, it's just spring. It's Eastery. It's just really cute. And if you wanted to go on a smaller scale for an Easter basket, which is completely normal, I know that I have laundry baskets that are pretty big. Um, but I will fill those up with snacks and candies and, and all kinds of things that I find for the two of them, yarns and things like that for my mom and my son. But if you want to do a smaller, um, size basket, these would be really good as well for an Easter basket to fill up. These have a pretty good depth, depth to them, but they're just such pretty Easter colors. And this would be a really easy basket to put the foil over to encase the things that you've made, you know, for the Easter basket to put the foil over, tie a cute bow and put it, pull it all together. So these baskets are, they're awesome. So I'm excited to have found those new colors for springtime. I may or may not pick up other things here and there, um, but I really have to figure out what I would be doing with them before I just go buy a whole new round of like storage bins and things like that because I already have everything that I need for like just everyday storage in my house and how it's kind of blended into the color scheme in each room, my storage areas and things like that. Things that hold my pictures, my my um 
my pictures, my book area, things like that. And I kind of don't want to revamp that whole thing. Now yarn. So they still have this just yarn brand, which is a great brand. I've showed you so many colored um, yarn in the last couple of hauls. And I keep finding more that I haven't found yet. So this is the color mixture for this particular one. And they are coming out so beautiful. She's knitting me scarves and things like that. And they are just so beautiful once they are started. It's just, she made me the peach one. I should have grabbed it. It's out there in the hallway, so I'm not going to get up. But I'll try to remember to show you next week in the video to show you what the Infinity Scarf came out like. And again, if you haven't watched my previous videos, these brands right here, the Just um, Yarn, goes normally for 5 or $6, even for this size skein of yarn. And so I grabbed two, and it makes a really good sized Infinity Scarf or just a regular straight scarf, whatever you prefer to wear. So two of these for $2, that's a pretty good deal. Then I also found her this color in the same brand, and this is kind of on a lighter note of the color mixture in there. That's like a really light yellow and a yellow um, and a light peach, some purples, and these are so pretty for, for anything. Sometimes she knits like me an infinity scarf, but then will make me like an ear warmer as well and put like an embellishment of a flower on top of it or whatever. She's made me a bunch of sets like that in the past. These would be really pretty to make sets out of. They just, they're just such a pretty thing. But this yarn right here is one that I have never seen as well. And I can only find one of them. And this by far out of all of the mixtures of yarn that I've gotten her in this brand is by far my favorite. And of course I could only find one, but this completely reminds me of like mermaid colors. And so now I'm looking for a second one of this so that she can make me another scarf. And then maybe someday, you know, she could just knit little squares and then combine them all together and make me a really big quilt with all of these yarn that would be phenomenal mom think about that yeah think about it i know it's a lot of work but if i could have like a blanket to put on my bed with all of these beautiful colors all mixed together in some way that would make my heart so happy so i grabbed that and that's her yarn stash for this week. Then she also grabbed this garland. And this is a floral garland. And look at the daisies. It's so pretty. And she bought these to string across her window. Which is a really good idea actually. Because in the springtime, I normally would get swags to put like over my curtains. To make like a swagged look above you know, the top of my rod so it kind of goes with the curtain and then the flowers and everything will pop. And this would be pretty if you just got a few of these for each window in whatever room you're thinking about and kind of swag them across where like a valance would normally hang if you had one. So those are really, really pretty too. And they did have another option and they were colored flowers for a garland so she got those for springtime then she also found herself this soup mug right here and this also goes with the theme of those pastel colors for the spring they had this in every single one of the colors that they have out for all those different odds and ends that they're bringing out for spring so there was this blue one which is her favorite color that's why everything is pretty much blue that she bought blue the pink the gray and the peach and it's from sure fresh it's a soup mug but she thought well if it's for soup i can put my coffee in it and the lid is really really secure so when she she's you know she has a lot of stairs um to go up and down to get to her place and she makes a coffee and she wants to get up the stairs and it's a hot one she can 
lid on it will stay secure and she won't spill. This says that this is microwave safe, freezer safe, top rack dishwasher safe. Um, remove lid before heating in microwave. So this was kind of neat. I should have actually picked some up myself because Richie sometimes takes soup to work. You know, his hot coffee in the morning. And, you know, if I see them again, I'll have to think about that and grab some for myself. Now, in the party section, and I don't know if you guys travel, you know, to like Party City and things like that for your party supplies. But personally, I would never unless they're having like a decent sale or something like that, which is not common for Party City. But for the most part, I buy all of my party supplies at the Dollar Tree. So they have really, really good wrapping paper. And for a dollar, some of, some of the sizes and the quantity that comes in the rolls is really decent for the dollar. Other things, no, not so much. The dollar, and then it's really not that big of a roll. But these are brand new. And there was a whole selection in this brown paper bag look with these foil different patterns on it and I took a picture of them all in a row so that you could see all of the different patterns that were available on this brown paper bag look of wrapped and it's not that big of a roll for a dollar but these are so cute that I would use them maybe not even just for wrapping paper but you could use it as like a backdrop at a party you could possibly even use this to cut um sections out of it to scrapbook with you could use it for so many different things um other than just the wrapping paper and this one is is um from voila and it's gift wrap and it's 30 by 48 inches 30 by 48 inches but does it say how big the roll actually is I don't I don't know but I, I guess that's how big it is and I don't know how much it is but I just know that they feel really light but the paper is stellar and so I know if you rolled this out you could at least get a good backdrop look behind you if you're going for a theme in the summertime for like 4th of July or something like that um, and you're having like a little cookout a party you want a wall behind you that people can take pictures in front of that is really 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 pretty and then I also got this one with that beautiful blue that like sea foam green polka dots which this one is definitely my favorite and I love it um, and so they have this one as well and then you'll see the picture at the end of all of the other options and the brown paper bag look with all of the different um, patterns on it and I think that even though they're smaller rolls you could think of so many things to do with this that it's worth the dollar anyways so I grabbed those which they made me so happy. Now for a little bit. So anyways, too funny. I forgot. I found this fake security camera, which is so silly, but it could be useful. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a package that was torn open and the contents was missing by the time I got home, but the package was still on the porch. So I want to be able to put this out and deter anybody from possibly stealing packages or lingering around my art yard area too long, unwelcomed. Um, and I just, I saw this and I was like, what are they going to think of next? So here it is. It's a fake security camera. It takes two AA batteries. And I think, um, let me see. Place all the way to clean the batteries, remove batteries, da, 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 da. I don't really know how it secures on. Uh, fake cameras, two, oh, two wall screws it takes 
and this product is not a functioning video camera well i wouldn't think so for a dollar at the dollar tree but it clearly states it on the box so i think that this is kind of funny and i would like people to stop thinking it's okay to steal packages or steal the content from packages especially around the holidays when you're already antsy enough if they're going to arrive so i grabbed this and that's what we are going to do with it is just put it up out front by our um, front door so that people will be like a little leery of doing anything funny so that's kind of neat that they came out with a concept like that then I showed you last week that they have these markers that do these outline um, this outline look if you can see right there so I had found three different colors last week and this week I found this fuchsia one which by far fuchsia is my favorite of all colors on the planet so I grabbed it because I needed to have this one to add to the collection so that when I write or color or do anything like that I can use this um, to go with my other markers and doodle around and stuff like that. I don't know if anybody um, really just kind of like doodles and scribbles, but I do it quite often. And it's just such a relaxing thing to do when you're sitting and just kind of taking a moment for yourself is like scribble around, take notes, draw pictures. I love to draw hearts and stuff. It's, it's just a really soothing, calm thing for me. So um, to have pretty markers to do with, do it with is pretty neat. I found these. I found a brand new scarf to add to my collection of hair accessories for St. Patrick's Day. And I think that this one for certain is my favorite out of the ones that I have found so far. I absolutely love all of the shamrocks on there. Um, and then it says Lucky Charm inside of some of the shamrocks. And I think the pattern on it is so cute and it's going to be adorable in my hair for work on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day on St. Patrick's Day. Now this, this is cute. This is a brand new headband that I have not seen yet. It comes with all of these wiry little um, cork, uh, not corkscrew, but these little noodle type of um, things coming off of it. It has pretty, pretty little shimmery shamrocks on the top of it. And I will wear this to work. I certainly will. And everybody thinks it's so funny when I dress up for work during all of the holidays. I'm pretty wild and flamboyant just naturally anyways. But the holidays, I really try to like just keep the spirits like, happy and, and visually pleased. And everybody's in a good mood mood and laughing and joking um about the things that i put together for outfits through the holidays so i grabbed that headband and they keep coming out with new and different ones almost every single time that i go so it's kind of funny to be like okay i think i found everything now and then you go back and you see that there's you know three or four new hair pieces that weren't out there you know the last two weeks prior so i grabbed that and then I grabbed these as well because last week I hauled the little cauldrons, the 12 pack of foam little cauldrons. And then there was a bag of uh, gold coins and I'm going to craft with those onto a wreath for St. Patrick's Day. This is a 20 piece of scatter and there are the shamrocks in there and then also the, the coin look. There's little ones. For the shamrocks and bigger ones and medium sized ones so I can also add this to the wreath and now I just hope that they come up with some sort of an embellishment for um, like rainbows and stuff so that I can also add that to the wreath to go into the pot of gold that I'll create on the wreaths so I'm hoping that they'll come out with something like that then I found this bandana and this will also be for um, for Valentine's Day for my hair. And this is that buffalo check pattern with the red and black. And I think it would be really cute 
tied up into like a bow with my hair really high and really high bun and around Valentine's Day. So this will just be another hair accessory for me um, to get through Valentine's Day. And I absolutely love the buffalo check and the red is really very vibrant. So this was a brand new bandana that was just out today for the first time. And I'm excited that I grabbed it and found it. Now, they always seem to be coming out with new material in the Crafters Square section. It is put out by Crafters Square, which is a Dollar Tree brand in the craft section. And they give you these little um, 20 by 21 inch um, pieces of fabric. And these are so pretty for mask making. And I have a friend, I have quite a few people that I know that have been making masks since this started, but one particular girl is making me masks as I find the material. So I found this pattern here for the springtime, which is really, really cute. Then I found this one, and this one is definitely my favorite. And I'm going to open this one just a little bit so that you can get the gist of it. And how pretty is that? That is just so beautiful to me um, for a mask. And then I can probably use a piece of it to put up in my hair to tie into a bow, like cut out like a good size. Because there's a decent amount of material in here for a dollar. And um, cut out a swatch of it to make a bow for like my hair that I can clip into it or something like that. Can, that can match my face mask. So I don't know which way to hold it. But this is the pattern. For that one and I think it's so beautiful but they had a whole basket full of brand new um, material and I just grabbed three but there was a whole bin of them and there will be a, a picture included at the end to show you which ones were in the brand new box of fabric in the craft square section and then this one is just so pretty this is yellow and um, the white polka dots which reminds me of the song yellow polka dot bikini which was one of my favorite songs growing up. And that's just so sunshiny and pretty and bright and cheerful. So I grabbed that material for a cute face mask. My legs are already going numb. I'm getting old, guys. I can tell you that. I swear, I hit like 36 and I started to feel different. Now I'm almost 40 and things are kicking the bucket around here. My legs hurt, my hip hurts doesn't help that I'm on my feet all day um but right now I've been sitting on the floor Indian style for what 20 20 minutes and my right leg is already gone numb so let me just adjust myself for a moment try to get myself comfy again so that we can stay on track all right and now this I, I I'm just smitten over this and I, I can't even believe the decoration pieces that they're coming out with. Okay. Will you look at this? Now, I am the flower girl. I work with flowers. I'm so excited that I have found this career path. I absolutely love it. It is daunting and quite exhausting, honestly, being in the flower industry. Um, and it's hurtful, too, to your hands. But I do love my job. I love the people I work with. I love the owners of the company. It is just, it's just right up my alley. And the owners are absolutely beautiful human beings. And they have, they, they have trucks. So the truck theme is definitely for them. But look at that. I bought this from my boss. I'm going to bring it to her tomorrow with a bag of candy and leave it on her desk and then she can hang it either in her office or somewhere in the workshop but this these are absolutely beautiful so it had this one and then a purple option with flowers in it so I got this one for her and then I got this one for myself and this one oh my god with the strawberries in it Oh my goodness, will you look at the strawberry baskets inside in the truck? And you know what's funny? I keep saying I'm so over the truck. I Because I truly feel like, all right, we've really pushed the truck far. 
Like that truck is about to break down. We need to like change up where we're going with these trucks and give them a little bit of a rest because I feel like everything has been truck themed for the last couple of years. But I can tell you that this is about the cutest truck thing, decoration pieces that I have ever seen put out on anything, anywhere, at any time. So there were four different ones of these. The one that I just showed you that also had a lilac purple option with flowers in the back of it. This one with the strawberries in it. And then there was another truck that had watermelons in a basket in the back of it. I left those other two options, but I did take a picture of the two of them and I'll leave it at the end of this video as well. But I had to pick these two up because both of these were just my favorite. Got the pink one from my boss. I got this one for myself. You could even just hang it just like this and it's perfectly wonderful. Or you could use it as a centerpiece to making a wreath in like the springtime or the summertime with strawberry embellishments all around the wreath. Oh my goodness, how cute would that be? To hang on your front door, these. I, I can't even believe that they can make stuff like this for a dollar. Honest to goodness, I really just don't understand it. Now, keep keep going with the wreaths, um, with the sign decorations. I I went crazy today on these signs, all of these signs, the trucks and these. Will you look at what they're coming out with? Like this is so just simple, but so beautiful, and it has like that faux wood look, that paneling look. It's those, that beautiful blue sparkle to say welcome. And this gorgeous flower right here is so pretty. For the O in welcome, that is just beautiful. And I am so excited. I have so many doors in this house. If you watch my videos, you've heard me talk about it probably a hundred times. But I have so many doors in this house. So I bought a sign for each door to so that you can see it from the outside in. I got this welcome one with the sunflower and that full wood look in the back with the white lettering. It's so pretty. And these are a decent size as well. And then here comes the trucks again, guys. Right there. The sunflowers. I just can't. I just can't. There's no words. The font of that welcome is like really, really pretty. The truck with the beautiful sunflowers in the back. And this one will probably be on my front door in the summertime because I'm doing my mammoth sunflower garden all out front of my house. Um, and just putting sun those mammoth sunflowers all over the place. And so I'll probably hang this one from my front door for the summertime when those start to bloom. So I grab that one and then this one. Cause I also have roses. I have a rose bush out there with hot pink roses. And so this one says hello. And I love the blue truck with the pink flowers in the back. It says spring. Oh my God. These signs are so pretty so so pretty so i grabbed those four long signs that say welcome in some way somehow and then also the two trucks that are decorations and that is just like making mama so happy books my mother picked this one out today and this is a really good thick book she found it she actually likes this author so she recognized it this book originally went for $27.99 in the U.S. and $36.50 in Canada. And if you haven't heard me say it a million times, I will say it again. Check your book section. The book section is going crazy right now um, with brand new stocked books. Children's, adults, um, teenage books. It's just crazy, crazy good books. So she picked herself up that one. I actually picked this one up for myself. Um, it's called The Dinner List. And I'll just read you a little bit about this. 
It says the dinner list. Imagine that you could gather the people you've loved, dead or alive, at one table for one night with a chance to heal yourself once and for all. And I just read a quick little snippet of what it says on the back. But the concept of that is really special to me because I do have some unresolved issues inside of myself and I would love to heal from past things and to get everybody together that I would need to have that moment with is a really good thought to me. It's a thought that I've had just on my own, but to see that there is a book on this concept, I kind of am just interested in reading it and maybe even finding something in this book that could help me in my journey toward healing and overcoming some things that have been in my history. And um, so I'm excited to read this book at some point when I feel like I can handle it. And this book went for $27.99 in the US and $34.99 in Canada. And so I think that's pretty cool. And the concept of it is really something that just struck me personally. Then I got this book for myself as well. And this is The New Neighbors. And it's one of those thriller books that I absolutely love. So I'm really, really excited to read this. The terrifying thriller sent shivers through me, it says. And this book went for $16 in the US. That's the only price I can see on this on the back. So I'm excited to read that. Now these books, these are coffee table books and they are unbelievable. I don't even, I saw them and almost came off my feet. This book right here, okay? So it says Disney's Pixar Cars, but just look at the cover. Look at how beautiful this book is. Look at how big it is. Look at how thick it is. This book is so heavy. It's not even funny. This is the back. Now, on the inside, it says this book went for $40 in the U.S. $40. So this says, in 2006, Pixar introduced audiences to a world populated almost entirely by automobiles. Okay, and then it goes on from there. But this book isn't just about Pixar cars. This is a book about cars, about different places with different types of cars. It goes into the whole history of vehicles and all different things about driving and what have you so father's day is coming this is a just a beautiful book to look through in every way shape or form and father's day is coming if if your if your kids you know are interested in learning about cars and they whatever you know your teenage boys want to look through it, you know, the dads that are car heads want to look through it. This is just a beautiful coffee table book, or even if you have like a Disney themed type of room that you want to add something special to it to flip through with your kids at the end of the night and show pictures and read the little descriptions um, on each page to what they're showing and telling you this book is huge and it's beautiful and what a great find i feel and i'm excited that i found it and it was a 40 dollars book normally so i got two of them i got one from my own stash to save for a potential grandchild as you've heard me say multiple times before just in case i do have one um and if not i'll pass it on to somebody else but i did get an extra one and i'm planning on passing that one on to somebody now so I'm excited for that then I also found this book which is beautiful Pope Francis and um, this is my gonna be my mom's so I grabbed it for her and it says a photographic portrait of the people's Pope and what a beautiful book huge thick book so so heavy um, the pictures inside are stunningly beautiful same 
concept of, as the other book it will give you like all kinds of different um, histories and things like that of what's going on in the pictures this book is just it's beautiful it's a beautiful book my mother really like loves this kind of stuff so I bought this for her and it's just beautiful it's gorgeous and this book went for $25 in the US and 29 in Canada so I'm gonna give this to her for Easter I'm gonna put this in her big old basket for Easter and I think it's lovely now I grabbed her this as well Rose Kennedy's family album and it comes all saran wrapped it says from the Fitzgerald Kennedy private collection 1878 to 1946 and it's wrapped in plastic it's a beautiful beautiful book dear children we have missed you all very much since you left although I must say while you were here it seemed a little more hectic than usual that's just the first sentence but inside is all of the illustrations of the family photo albums and I'm sure way more than just even that like those other two books so I grabbed this for her and this is a $45 book $45 and my mother absolutely loved JFK and she loves the history of the Kennedys she loves history in general and so I purchased this for her as well so that she could flip through it and look through it she ha used to have like so many autobiography books and she used to keep like magazines with all of her favorite type of um things that she's read about history and and people that she's always followed like like princess diana and things like that and i thought that i would buy these two books for her so that she could add them to her collection and flip through them when she would like to so I would have unwrapped that one and showed you some of the pages, but I'm giving it to her for a gift. So I want her to see that it's like wrapped really nice so that she can open it on her own. Now let's just get into some of the stuff that I have that are just general everyday life things. I went and I found a couple, maybe not the last haul, but maybe the one prior to that. I found these new wipes from the Bolero brand. And I tried the one that I purchased last time, which was the lemon, where is it? I think it's called the lemon verbena and sage in this brand, because these are all new wipes that have come out. And I loved them so much, but I went back to really look at the other options that they had. So I grabbed two more packages in different scents that I don't have yet. So this is the Tangerine and Lavender. There's a 30 count in each one. Um, and this one is the Citrus and Sea Salt. So I'm going to try these two as well. And I hope that they are just as good as the Lemon, lemon Verbena and Sage. That's what I think the last one is. But these are so good. And I wiped down my face with them at the end of the night cool it's fresh it feels great and they work really well then I grabbed some more aluminum foil because we are almost out soaps this one is the one I normally get which is the three pack of the palm olive for a dollar which this is the soap that we normally have on hand that I'm running out of but then I found this one and this is from soft soft soap brand there's two bars in here and it's caring body bar with lavender scent and it looks really good and then if you squeeze the box a little bit even though the wrap is over it you can smell and this smells really fantastic i love perfumes body sprays soaps uh, you know candles obviously you you know if you watch my videos you know this by now anything that is smelly and and is just yummy I, I have to have it so I found that soap and I grabbed it and I'm excited that I found it 
Then I also grabbed myself a dish soap because we're running out. This is the Ajax Ultra, Ultra Brand Bleach, um, the Citrus Pomegranate with a bleach alternative. It's 16 fluid ounces and there's 100% more in here than just the normal size. And this was at the Dollar Tree for $1 to which you're not going to find this in Ajax anywhere else for a dollar. And this is a big, this is a big bottle. So I grabbed that. Then I needed some more wash, uh, wet pads for my Dollar Tree mop. It's, it mimics a Swiffer and it comes in two pieces. You have to buy the bar, um, like the handle bar, which comes in one big long, you know, handle. And then you buy all of the attachments to it separately. Well, I bought the mop head that's flat that has the velcro feature on it so that these pads can stick to it so you can wash your floors um and i love it and a uh, swiffer sweeper is around like 12 to what 12 to 16 dollars depending on where you pick it up i bought those two pieces for two dollars you know for two dollars and then these pads there's 20 pads in here and it's from scrub buddies with touch cleaning um for tough cleaning jobs it's wet swiffer cloths refill it's a 20 pack with a lemon scent so i will use these on my dollar tree fake swiffer sweeper <laughs> setup that works just as well for two dollars and wash all my floors and i have a lot of floors to wash in this house this is a big old house and there is a lot to do in this house and there is a lot to clean keep up with wash down and um my floors all on my first floor are all white marble and uh, listen it's visually very pretty but a lot to contend with and someday i'm thinking about changing out these floors because honestly every little speck on it makes me crazy and i constantly have to sweep wash the floors like constantly wipe them down it's a lot of work, but the Dollar Tree cleaning items does the trick and I wouldn't buy them any place else. Now I found these as well and they usually only have them in the pink and blue um, scented bags that are these size from this brand. And this is from the Essentials brand and these are the medium garbage bags, but they're lemon scented and there's 35 sacks in here. So this is the size that I use from this brand, but they're normally um, pink or blue and I can't remember the scents. I think the pink one is a rose scent and I think the blue one is, um, I can't, I think vanilla. I may be wrong on that, but I think it's vanilla, but I've never seen the yellow ones and these are a lemon scent. So I buy these for my trash bag in my little trash bucket next to the sink in the bathroom area and these are what I use for that little bucket um in there so I grabbed two little sacks of those that's 70 sacks I won't have to buy them for months and months and months for two dollars that's where I buy all of my trash bags for the big waste basket in the kitchen and for my little waste basket in the bathroom then I also grabbed a clear shower curtain and this one has the magnetic liner so that it doesn't blow. It will stick to the side um, and keep it away from you. This is the one that I always get. And I have to change out my shower curtain soon after I clean down the bathroom. So I needed another liner to be able to put this on first. And then my um, colorful, fun, festive bathroom curtain for the, for the next springtime look. These are the trash bags that I get. And you've probably seen these before. They're from that Good Sense brand. There are 14 sacks in here from the 13 gallons. And these are also like a lemony citrus smell to them. So those are the ones I always get. And they're a better price for me to buy two boxes of those every like month for $2 than to go to the store and buy the 22 pack for like I think three or two three fifty for the trash bags at the store 
like at the grocery store or whatever that's local to me it's usually around like three to 350 for only a box of 22 right there I get 28 for two dollars by buying two boxes of that type so that's where I get them then I went and I got my dryer sheets which are the breezy brand there's a 55 count and this is smells so good in your laundry after it comes out of the dryer with these dryer sheets in here I usually use one whole box once a week with all of my laundry so four dollars a month one each week that's what I use to do my laundry for the week four dollars a month for dryer sheets that's my jam now I also bought toothbrushes we run out of toothbrushes really quick between the three of us we're always switching them out and this is the Colgate brand and you get three in a pack for a dollar the Dollar Tree has these very scarcely um, it's like hit or miss if you're gonna find the three pack most of the time they only have the two pack and sometimes they only have the one but this week they had the three fully stocked so I got six toothbrushes for two for two dollars for two packages at the Dollar Tree and these are really really good and they're the soft ones because that's what you should be brushing your teeth with is a soft bristle but do what you want it's your teeth I also got these little silverware set this little silverware set here it's a cutlery set it's a 12 piece but I've been eating salad a lot this past week and these are wood with this little pineapple um, embossed like little accent you know decoration on it and they're so cute and it's a 12 piece so I just thought I'd get myself some fun cutlery you know to eat my salads with for the week for lunchtime and I couldn't leave them there and I thought wow that is really cool even though there's you know only 12 piece in there that's um that a, that's a dinner party of four people you know to get a whole you know little set on the side of their plate and they're really really cute I wish and I hope that they come out with some type of wooden looking plate or bowl so that these can go with it because that would be really fun to eat my salad in like a little wooden bowl with the little wooden set with the pineapples on it like this is the stuff that makes me excited guys am I losing it or is this like normal <laughs> I don't even know at this point um it's the little things it's the little things that make me happy so this I already broke into because I made a dessert for work a couple of weeks ago and I forgot I never showed these to you guys but these were the biggest hit that I brought these in to give with the dessert that I made for my co-workers and my bosses and this is a 24 piece of silver plastic spoons but they are the dinkiest tiniest little silverware and they are so flippin cute I love them so I bought these right here and they kind of just fell out of the package because I've already had them open um, but these little silverware in the party section and like where the party supplies are they're usually against like the wall area with all of the, like the the plastic looking like faux crystal little platters and bowls and things like that so that's where these are hung up on the wall normally so i grabbed these to go with the dessert and i grabbed these as well to go with the spoons for like the little bowl to dish out the dessert that I made and everybody absolutely loved how they were presented it in the cute little dish and then to eat with these two things they were like thrilled with it so that was kind of neat and it was kind of just like a little like truffle type of dessert that came in like a little I put it together all in this dish and there was so many different layers to it and then I brought like a really cute serving spoon into the little bowl with the little spoon and they like were obsessed with it 
So that's where I grabbed all that stuff from. This video is going to be really long. I'm going to finish off this pile right here of the food now. So bear with me. My husband, he buys his snack crackers for his locker at the Dollar Tree. And these are just as good as any. And these are the cheese and peanut butter filling of the Lance brand of the crackers. These he puts in his locker to have when he needs them through the day. They're yummy. And there's six packages in there. So he grabbed those. Then he also brings tuna packets to work. And I might grab some too that are more up my alley that aren't spicy. But these are all of his for his lunch times at work. And this is the Thai chili from the Bumblebee brand of the tuna packets. And I showed you to these so many hauls ago. I haven't hauled food and showed you guys for quite a while because I usually buy it and then just pack it into the house and forget to put it in the haul. But this right here is like a little cut off. There's a little mini spoon inside of here. And then there's another slice to get the tuna out. You can either spoon it out with this really cute handy little spoon that's inside of the packaging. Eat the tuna right out of there or scrape it out with it and put it on a salad or whatever to have for a nice little lunch option. So I get his tuna packets from the Dollar Tree that are in the Bumblebee brand. There's so many different varieties of the kinds that they offer. Um, you can check a couple of different ones. Sometimes, you know, there'll be a few here, a few there in different options. So maybe just check around to see if you've seen all of the different combinations that come in the tuna by going to a couple of your local Dollar Trees. So he likes the spicy ones. I got him the Thai chili and I got them for him for like a week and a half. So I got him eight packages so he would have it. And those are what he eats on his salad for lunch. All my spoons just fell out because I just threw that like a geek. Um, and so that's that. Then I've showed you before, but I will show you again that this brand of Baker's Choice English Muffins at the Dollar Tree is stellar. So fantastic, so soft, so yummy. They, they get nice and crispy, you know, to toast them or even grill them. They're so delicious. Um, I absolutely love them with egg and cheese in the morning or in the evening. If I just want like a little snack, he'll grill me one of these. I'll put a little butter and a little jelly on it and it's like a dessert. These are so delicious. So we needed to replenish the stockpile. So I grabbed four more of these um, to put in the freezer and leave one out on the counter so that we can have them for the week. And those English muffins are great. Then this is what I got to bring to work tomorrow for my boss and my coworkers along with her um, pink truck fl flower decoration that I showed you earlier. I got this big bag here of wafy cube strawberry cheesecake flavored wafers from the globe um, global brands company and the 73% cream. I've already seen these the last couple of months. I've hauled them before. I tried a couple of them but everybody, Isaiah is obsessed with these. I usually don't get any. By the time I go look for them, they're gone. Um, work, they all love these. I've brought them in quite a few times for them to nibble on throughout the day while we're working. So I'm going to bring this bag with the cute little truck sign for them tomorrow to put up at the warehouse. And so that's what I'm going to bring them in tomorrow to work to just enjoy a little snack and treat. Then I also grabbed the Circus Peanuts. And these I grabbed because this is nostalgia for me. My Nana always brought these over wrapped inside a piece of tin foil for us kids. She always had either pinwheels or these Circus Peanuts or little tiny candies or like macaroons or whatever, like whoopie pies wrapped up in tin foil and she would bring them over and put them in her apron pocket so that she could pull them out and give them to us kids and so circus peanuts were like really really popular at my home when i was growing up pertaining to my grandparents 
you know, giving us food for love. <laughs> and I see these at the Dollar Tree all the time. So I had it to grab them because I want to share them with Isaiah and, and just let him have a few to see if he even likes them. But I love them. And I just, I felt like I needed to revisit Nana's time again. And I grabbed some so that we could have a few together as a family. Then I grabbed some more candies to put into the little Valentine's Day baskets. I grabbed the Palmer brand of the Fudge Heart. Soft, creamy fudge in a rich, chocolatey shell. So I grabbed those to add to the little baskets. And I also grabbed these, which these were always in my little gift goodie bags when Isaiah was growing up. And these are the six, uh, the original Sixlets chocolatey candies. And they come in these cute little packages, these long little packages with the Sixlets in it. And you bite into that hard shell of the coating and hit the little tiny burst of chocolate. And these are also very nostalgic for me to um, think back on making all of Isaiah's like party gift bags where I would just load up the gift bags with um, the little gift bags that go home with the kids with the six slits and a bunch of other really cool candies. So I grabbed these for Valentine's Day so I could put them in the bucket for, for them as well. Then I also grabbed this right here, which this is a good buy. And this is the last items and then we're done after this. This is the Nestle brand of the waters that have the flavoring inside of it. It's called Splash. This one is the mandarin orange flavored water. These normally in the stores nearest to me, like the grocery stores and stuff, go for about two to two fifty for a case that is this size with just the six waters in it. And they have an incredible amount of these right now at the Dollar Trees in a bunch of different flavors. They have this one and I think that they have a lemon one. I think that they also have a, um, what was that other one I saw the other day? I can't remember and I'm not going to guess right now. But they have a few different flavor options in these right now. So this for a dollar is really good with the hint of flavoring inside of it. It just breaks up the monotony of just the flat water. Sometimes I just need something different. So when the Dollar Tree has these, which is very scarce, I usually stock up on them so that we can put them into the back hall where I have my storage area. And then we have a different option for water consumption. So that is it. That is it. And I know that this is incredibly long and I hope that you guys are still here with me. I hope that everybody has had a fun, blessed, happy, healthy, safe week. I hope that you're all going to have a great weekend. I will be at work getting ready to wrap up this crazy Valentine's Day season in the flower department. And I only got another week of this stuff to get through before it's finally over. And then the next biggest holiday for flowers is Mother's Day. So then we will hit that ground running in a few more months. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Um, comment, share, like, subscribe, pass me on, share me on your social media page. Uh, I have a great respect for everybody and love for everybody that watches my videos and supports me. Thank you so, so much for everything. I am extremely grateful for the 63 subscribers that I do have in the last, I believe, eight or nine months that I've been doing my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you and I really am just grateful. So I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed, happy, healthy, whole week. And I will talk to you next weekend in the next video. Bye, guys.